Tim in Amarillo, Texas outside Yolo's. This is right, Yolo's food truck. So this is a breakfast and lunch food truck uh, specializing in a large variety of different items. So besides their breakfast item today, we're doing an all-American food challenge. Right, all-American food challenge. Featuring delicious looking hot dogs. We got jalapeno popper hot dogs. We have mac and cheese hot dogs. We have sloppy joes. We have chicken wraps. We have a po' boy. We have a spicy kicking chicken sandwich. We also have a chicken wrap. All good stuff. We also have their uh, famous, famous, famous Mac Attack, which is a mac and cheese tater tot. So it all sounds really good. Looks like it is a lot of food, that is for sure. But ultimately, we're gonna dive it in. Should be fun. We're gonna have 30 minutes to complete such. And if not, the meal is going to be about $58, I believe. That's $58, but if we eat it, we get the meal for free. But yeah, All American Food Challenge, All American Food Truck. Yolo's, I guess, been around for a couple years now. They're actually in around Amarillo. It's five to six days a week, so this is a full-time operation all around Amarillo. So if you're ever in the area, definitely check them out. Uh, schedules on their social media. But with that, let's pretty much uh, head on in. Let's get some food, get you some more info, and uh, I'm excited. Let's go eat. All right, everyone, so here is all the food. It looks absolutely, absolutely delicious. So I not only have a very Texas-style sloppy joe, open face on Texas toes, we have a uh, po' boy sandwich. I have a kicking chicken sandwich. Huge piece of chicken on these, these are very big portions. I have a popper dog, which is like a jalapeno popper with bacon on it, of course. We have the mac dog, which of course has a homemade mac and cheese and the bacon on it. We then have the chicken little fries, which is french fries with cheese with a white peppercorn gravy, which I love, chicken on top as well. We then have the mac attack. This is one of their most popular items. This looks very, very delicious. We're talking tater tots covered in mac and cheese with green chilies, jalapenos, chicken, it is spicy. I then have some of their delicious looking apple pie tacos. Yes, these are like little deep fried tacos, apple pie filling. They gave me six, which is two orders. I then have a stampy wrap and an all American wrap, which basically the one has the buffalo uh, sauce in it, the other has ranch in it, both delicious looking chicken wraps. So I'm super excited, this all looks fantastic. It smells very good. Luckily, again, I want to give a huge thanks to everybody who came out to watch. And what's so cool is if you come out to my events, I can actually share the food and you can smell. smell of vision is a thing when you are live. So with that, we're going to get started here just momentarily. And uh, let's eat some food. Restaurant's ready? Woo! All right, so let's do this. And uh, YOLOs. It's not for you only live once. It's for Yolanda and Logan. But you also only live once. And they're, I like that saying. And they're okay <laughs> with me using it in such nature. So how do we get started? I'll probably start with... Uh, <laughs> this, the sloppy joke, probably. Let's start to say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Woo! So, admittedly, it is sloppy, but it's very good. <laughs> we call it the sloppy joke. I love it. Oh, yeah, that thing is Very American. Now we have the kicking chicken. This is supposed to be maybe a little spicy. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Yolo's, yes, Yolo's in Amarillo, Texas, here doing an all American food challenge. So, as we mentioned, we had everything from sloppy joes, we had hot dogs, we had uh, chicken wraps, we had um, you know, kind of loaded fries. We had uh, a chicken po' boy. We had kind of everything. Everything being very, very American cuisine, I guess you could say. You know, featuring some of my items like my favorite, like peppercorn gravy. Um, you know, we had a jalapeno popper sauce. We have the popper sauce and you have the green chilies. Really good flavor.
We got the bayou, the po' boy. Ooh, that coleslaw. It's delicious. It's a little, a little spicy though, a little kick to it. Cajun kick. Plus lots of macaroni and cheese and kind of all your favorite kind of comfort-ish foods, American foods, and all that good stuff. So, um, 30 minutes to complete the challenge uh, in order to get the meal for free. Um, and if we won, we're also going to get a, a sweet uh, mug. So that was also really, really cool. So we're hope hoping to go for the mug and the uh, free meal. Um, so YOLO's here, they ha have like a full breakfast menu. Obviously we're doing like brunch, I guess you could, or like lunch, you know, the, the, the those kind of items. But they do everything from like um, different kinds of French toasts. And uh, apparently their French toasts are very, very delicious. And I would really like to come by and try. They also normally have like cinnamon buns and just all these cool things. Um, but so yeah, really excited about that. Um, I'll have to come on back from in Amarillo again. I know where to come on by for some awesome looking breakfast items. But today again, we're doing the lunch items, which are all really fantastic. The flavors of everything were really, really delicious. I was really enjoying that sloppy joe. It'd been a long time since I had a sloppy joe. And if you're not familiar, a sloppy joe is kind of like a seasoned ground, uh, ground beef. Coming on about three minutes in, that was fantastic, the sloppy joe. That ca Cajun and chicken chicken definitely got me a little, got me a little spicy in my mouth, that's for sure. But moving these hot dogs, these are huge quarter pound Texas made hot dogs, bacon, and a custom made bun. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is a damn good hot dog. Yeah, seasoned ground beef on a sandwich. This one was an open face, um, but a lot of them are closed face. But yeah, that's kind of it. Seasoned ground beef is a sloppy joe. Um, and then obviously the hot dogs. Hot dog is a hot dog, but man, they had some delicious flavors. The uh, delicious, delicious popper sauce was like a, a house made thing, um, which they do only there. Again, you can only get it there, and it's very delicious. Really love that. Plus, the size of these hot dogs were absolutely giant and very, very flavorful. Man, they were a good tasting hot dog. I don't know where these were made. They were like, a, from my understanding, a Texas made small batch, um, you know, like not massively produced commercialized item. And they were so good, just absolutely delicious. Um, everything was super impressive, was really definitely enjoying all the taste and flavors. And it's really cool that all this comes out of a food truck because the food really honestly was, is very, very delicious and definitely had a really nice quality. And uh, I mean, they literally operate like five or six days a week. So how's the weather everybody? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So definitely check on their social media, find out where they are in the town. Um, and if you've never been to Amarillo, well, let me let me tell you a little bit about Amarillo, uh, Amarillo, Texas itself. That is some luscious mac and cheese. I'm talking like that is homegrown, homemade. This is a huge hot dog. That's a lot of mac and cheese. This thing will definitely fill you up. You won't need this much. Nobody needs this much. Just don't do it. <laughs> So Amarillo, Texas is a very small kind of quaint area town, but it's it's I shouldn't say it's super small. It's but it's relatively small. It's actually like a kind of a trucker's town, a truck stop. It is uh, kind of you know between like Dallas, um, also Oklahoma City, and then what would be like New Mexico. So kind of a major kind of highway goes through Amarillo, and so you know you have like you know a lot of uh, famous little truck stops. There's also some other really cool sites to be seen, um, like the Apollo Duro Canyon. Um, and yeah, we, you know, kind of win in Amarillo, win in, you know, Texas, you got to have some of that Texas hospitality. And that's definitely what was offered here at YOLO's delicious food, um, true Texas hospitality. And, uh, that's what you get. YOLO's is awesome. All right. Got the first drink on. Woo! Woo! Thank you. Thank you. On to the second. So again, back inside, we got chater tots, we got chicken little fries, we got some wraps. And then tacos. Probably try one of these wraps. I think this is the uh, the All American one. I do love a chicken wrap. But with that, everyone, I believe that's all the information I have for you today. If you liked the video so far, please hit that subscribe button. Just press that little subscribe button down below. Really appreciate that. Also, feel free to hit that like button. It really helps the video out. That way, it lets YouTube know that you like the video, and it'll help show it to other people as well. So. Thank you so much, and that let's get to the rest of the video. I mean, the food is pretty fire.
Now we have the Stampede Wrap. With buffalo sauce, which I do enjoy. All right, delicious wrap, no complaints, how do you want chicken wrap? Chicken on all these items is very, very good. Very nice and seasoned and bread. Now we're probably about eight minutes in. Ugh, got some air coming out of me. Ugh, ugh, there you go, get some, get, get, get that moving. Ugh, excuse me, ugh, excuse me. All right, now onto all these items. I'm excited, so this has my peppercorn gravy. My country gravy, I love this stuff. You don't get it in Canada, so I'm gonna enjoy this chicken little, which is not little. That's the joke. Everything is bigger in Texas. Very delicious. No other words are needed. Roughly 10 minutes in. No shortage of food though. These portions are absolutely huge. I doubt anybody even orders two items. I, I, I don't think they would. This thing's the size of like, it's the size of Texas. That's a big state. It has mac attack with green chilies and everything on there. Very delicious, it goes really well with the, uh, the cheesiness of that mac. A little like a creamy spice thing. I did not undo my belt for this one, but I probably should have. There's hidden horsepower should I need it.
And if you made it to this point so far, thank you so much for watching and not skipping ahead. But now let's play one of our classic jokes on the skippers. Um, so how we do this is we comment something down below, and then anybody who skips through the video and or only reads the comments will have to come back and try to find the place in the video where the said event happened. So how about we say something along the lines of, nice dog Joel, or hey, you have a cute dog. Little did they know, we're really talking about some hot dogs. But that, thank you so much. Comment down below, nice dog Joel, and did that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Leave no doubt. All right, we're probably. How are we doing for time? Woo! Well, anyway. About 13 ish something minutes in. Very, very delicious. Thank you. Always works to have friends in high places. Very delicious, like I said. I love the variety of this. It's been absolutely fantastic so far. And now, dessert. Now, they said they knew I liked dessert. And that ain't no lie. So when I got little like deep fried tortillas with cinnamon and apple cinnamon stuff, I'm down. Mm. Mm. Damn! This is like fair food, but yet like a churro, <laughs> an apple pie, grandma's, your mom's house, like <laughs> damn! <laughs> I would recommend. And they're nice one bite size. They're not really, I'm lying. But. <laughs> that is just too bad. I just dripping in sticky sweet stuff. That we're finished. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Woo. So it's absolutely fantastic. I am like, that was an all-American challenge. Yolo's definitely got that down. But that was fantastic. Like some of those American classics. Like that was honestly, I think, probably the best sloppy joe I've ever had. The hot dogs were fantastic. Again, they are kind of like a made Texas hot dog. They almost remind me of like a, almost like a sausage in a way. They're just so like, you get that cured deliciousness. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry guys. Compliments to the chef. That's what that means. I stand by that statement. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. The uh, the freaking the peppercorn gravy on the chicken little was uh, absolutely delicious. Everything's fantastic. These little tacos, too good. So that everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, huge thanks to everybody here at Yolo's. The staff are great. Everybody coming out with the watch has been fantastic. The food is absolutely phenomenal. Definitely for everything in the Amarillo area. Check them on out, follow their social, and you'll be able to see where they're at. Again, they're operating like five to six days a week in and around Amarillo. Um, this place is popping. I see why. Very delicious. The menu's right behind me. To try it all that many items on once you don't need it i did it so you don't have to but seriously would totally recommend loved it here and uh that's about that so until next time everybody of course say happy the hungry happy eating have yourself a lovely day get some good food and I'm glad everybody can experience smell of vision today so thank you again everybody and that until next time happy eating And we made it back to the Big Texan Steak and Ranch. The world famous Big Texan. So if you're not familiar, I was here about a year ago and we did the Big Texan Challenge. Fortunately, although I'd like to do the Big Texan again and double it this time, I don't have time to do that, but I would love to double the Big Texan. So I will be back, Big Texan, and I will double you one day. But until then, I'm gonna show y'all around a little bit more of this place. 
So here's out back. The big Texan steak and ranch has all kinds of little thingy things. We have the big chair. The big, big, big chair. I have sat in this chair. We have a vicious attack dog. Uh, some similar kind of big Texan kind of things. Uh, not all, uh, I think it was a little more set up last time we were here. And then inside, this is the back of the restaurant. Of course we have, excuse me. You have all your ghostly pictures which change as you go across them. Cowboy, do you notice those ghostly pictures? We had a bear, one of the bears. This is the extended dining room. They have lots of moose and bison and stuff on the walls and play your slots. Oh, that is actually me. They are literally, they were literally, literally, oh, there's Mickey. It was literally me on the, uh, on the screen. Like I said, I will be back. That's funny, I, I, I didn't know I was here being played at the Big Texan. There you go, that's kind of cool. They had the, uh, the shoot, yeah, the shooting gallery here. Then they have another bear and uh, some other characters up here. Souvenir shop, you can literally buy your horns to put on the front of your vehicle. So you're set. And then we'll show you the uh, show you the dining room. Fudge, free samples, just saying. I might have tried them out. Chocolate cake you've ever seen, as tall as you can. Carrot cake was big too, big slices. And then in the dining room you have literally as many taxidermied animal heads as you can posture up. Here we have where you do the challenge, big Texan, there's the clocks, there's the stage you do it on. And yeah, definitely a, definitely a cool spot. Nice to be back. I do wish I was doing the two times the challenge, but I have to wait for another time. I have to wait for another time. And they have this big, big, big giant cow, which is very suiting. Big Texan cow. They also have uh, uh, kind of like accommodations, like boutique little hotel things all along here, which is pretty cool. And then they'll actually board your horses and animals somewhere, so. And there's Godzilla. So, the big Texan. Big Ranch. Home of the free 72 ounce steak.